Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be filming my November favorites. Okay, so let me be real here. I do not know what day this video is going to be posted. I'm shooting for December 1st. Might not happen because I do have a sponsor video that I need to post, but this is the first video that I am intentionally filming for the very beginning of Vlogmas. So, woo! I am doing Vlogmas. If you don't know what Vlogmas is, I'm trying to post every single day in December. I'm not posting vlogs though, so it really isn't vlogmas. I might post some vlogs, but like we're continuing with the normal makeup content. Anyways, I'm really excited. I just feel like vlogmas is so festive. I love seeing all of my favorite creators posting every day content out the wazoo. I'm gonna do my best to post every day. I'm pretty good about posting frequently almost every day, as you guys know, but Jose's parents are coming from December 3rd to December 10th. That might make it difficult. So if in between that time I miss a day, I'm going to excuse that because Jose hasn't seen them in two years. So it's very important that we spend time with them, family first. But other than that, I'm going to be posting every single day. So yeah, any hoosers. We're talking about the products that I loved for the month of November. And there was pretty good amounts of product. I feel like new releases definitely slowed down in November, which really nice. But what made it hard was all the sales. Yeah, I had a lot of products to try from my Sephora hauls this month and I didn't even really get to those because I had some other products I needed to try. So I feel like December is going to be about really diving into some product testing. But nonetheless, these are the products that stood out to me this month. Let's go. So we're going to start off with tools. I have to. I have to give myself a self promo because I freaking came out with my own brush set with Esum this month and um, that was exciting. Talk about the highlight of the month. I, I did say this before. My brush set is pricey. I couldn't short myself. I literally needed to put my favorite brushes, which were face brushes, which are super duper expensive. So do not feel obligated to pick it up. It's, it's honestly fine. <laughs> But if you're looking for an all-in-one brush set of phenomenal shapes, I have a brush set. So I will link it down below if you're interested. Also, a technique that's been a favorite this month. I don't normally talk about techniques, but y'all have been hyping me up, getting my head so big, telling me how great my makeup looks whenever I do my inner corner wing. So now I just do it all the time. So there's a brush in my brush set that I want to tell you that I use to get it. It's the Esum V09. You don't need to buy my brush set to get this brush. You can just buy the brush individually. It's just like a really tight, pretty much like a like a lip pencil brush almost, but you can use it for so many things. I mean, I tell you in my debut video for this, multiple uses for every single brush, but my favorite use of late for this is I dip it in a dark color, just like the tip, and then I literally fill in the tight line of my inner corner and I just extend it out and that's it. It's that easy. So part of the reason, besides y'all getting my head so big telling me how pretty this makes me look, part of the reason why I keep doing this is because it's so easy. The skill itself is so transformative and it's super easy to do with this brush. So you don't need a brush, buy my brush kit. This brush has just been doing it all for me. And to those of you who did buy my brush set, thank you guys so much for the support. I love seeing on Instagram, you guys posting it and seriously message me, let me know what you think of the brush set, how I could improve, what you didn't like, what you did like. Uh, I would love to hear it for feedback for future projects. I don't know, you never know. Okay, let's move on to another brush tool. This is from Sigma. I got this in PR literally months ago, but it's been my right hand man. So this is called the Sigma Switch. And take a look, there's all different types of textures and all of that. Basically, it's just to clean the color off your brushes. It's like a spot cleaner, so it's not going to deep cleanse your brush, but if you're in between colors, you wipe it off on this and it will get that color off. They even have it labeled. This is an eyeshadow. This is for blending brushes, cream products, blush, highlight, so that way you don't mix the colors or the textures and it gets weird on your brush and it's double-sided and then once it gets dirty you just run some brush shampoo on it under the sink so this really does a good job of getting those eyeshadow powders and blushes 
off of the brush for that spot cleaning um, and it's super quick and easy to do. Just have it laying on my desk. Highly recommend this. Let's keep it moving. I mean, as far as complexion products, I really didn't test out too much. I've been sticking to my tried and true, so I don't have that, but I do have some blushes to share. So the first one is from Beauty Pie and this is the Super Cheek Bare Blush. I'm picky when it comes to cheek blushes, but this one has passed my test and I really love this color. So I'm not sure if it's up yet or not, but I did do a sponsorship with Beauty Pie and it was seriously no BS. Not that any sponsorship is ever BS, but like seriously, I love it. Like <laughs> I'm not being paid to say this in this video, but this is such a beautiful cream blush. I've decided I don't really like liquidy cream blushes. I like them thick and in a pot and this goes so good over like powders or no powders. It's the perfect level of pigmentation. It blends really nice. It's just a really light blush. You know, you can never over apply with this. I love the mauve tone. It's really natural. Plummy tones are more natural than you would think on the skin and it lasts forever. So whenever I wear this blush, even on its own without putting powder on top, I notice that the cheek color stays. So this from Beauty Pie, Super good. Powder blush. Oh my gosh, my tummy just growled. Powder blush, the By Terry Brightening CC Palette in Beach Bomb. Super good. So I picked this up from Derm Store and I'd always eyed this, but I haven't really tried too much from By Terry in my life. Like I have their powder and I've had an eyeshadow palette like 10 years ago. <laughs> so this is my first dab one to buy Terry in a long, long time. And the packaging of this is just delightful, right? And then you open it up and there's just four beautiful blushes with the beautiful rose embossment. And it smells like a sweet floral lotion, which I don't think a lot of you guys are gonna like. Personally, I like it. I think it smells really good. It's an experience opening it. And I normally don't like floral scents, but I'll accept it in this scenario. These blushes, super beautiful. Before. They blend seamlessly onto the skin. I will say the colors look a little different on the cheek than they do in the pan, but that's for the better because this doesn't even look like it's going to show up, but it's actually a really soft pink on me. This, for some reason, like pulled coral on me. Does not look coral at all, but nonetheless, gorgeous, gorgeous blushes. Very happy with the quality of this. Makes me curious about more by Terry products. I was eyeing this for such a long time, so I was so happy when I was finally able to get my hands on it, and it really is that good. It really, really is. Okay, a highlight, and let me tell you, it is a liquid highlight, which that is a huge deal for me because I hate 99% of the liquid highlighters that I come across. We're gonna wait for recycling to do their thing. Anyways, I hate all of the liquid highlights that I come across. Even if I know they're good liquid highlights, I still hate them. This is the best liquid highlight I've ever used. So this basically, okay, wait, well, this is by Beauty Pie. <laughs> this is a Triple Beauty Luminizing Wands. This is better than the Charlotte Tilbury version. And like, this is a dupe of Charlotte Tilbury, but it does it better than Charlotte Tilbury. Now, Charlotte Tilbury does have better colors in my opinion, but the formula on this, oh my goodness. So you can put this over powder and it's not going to break up the foundation underneath. This literally feels like a moisturizer. It's a little bit thicker than most liquid luminizers that you're going to come across and it blends into the skin super easily and gives the prettiest glow. I don't have any powder on top of it right now and this, look like at that. I love this and I find that like 80% of liquid luminizers that I use, they do kind of break up my foundation underneath, not with this one. It gives the most natural, pretty glow, and it feels like I'm putting moisturizer on my dry skin. Amazing. Okay, let's move on to like eyeshadow products. I have a lot. Um, decent month for eye products, not as good as last month, but pretty good. So the first thing I want to talk about is from MAC, and I picked up some stuff from their holiday collection, and I was shocked by this formula. First of all, how cute is the packaging? These are the Shade Shifter Duo Chrome Eyeshadows, and I am deeply regretting not picking up every single one in the collection. First of all, they look like little peppermints. I love it. So I picked up two shades, Ho Ho Hocus, or Ho 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 
no, Ho Ho Hocus. And then the other one that I picked up is Perplexing. And I picked up the brightest colors possible. I wish I had gotten some of the more wearable ones, but these colors look like they had the prettiest shifts. So these are like super glittery, shifty shadows, and I'm obsessed with them. They are gorgeous. I would recommend potentially, you know, maybe you probably want to use a glitter glue with these. I didn't in my first demo of these and I didn't get any fallout, but better safe than sorry. I don't think I've ever tried a formula like this for MAC. These are like kind of indie style shadows. Do they do it better than indie? No. But in terms of the market, this is the best kind of duochrome glittery shifty color that I've seen. You know, the bases are quite pigmented and the glimmers are just mm, fantastic. So MAC did a really amazing job with that formula. I haven't seen the general makeup market touch a formula like that and do it so well. So kudos to you, MAC. I love them if you're eyeing them. I do recommend them. If you like glitter and sparkles like me, I think you will like this. It's not a pressed glitter though. It's more like sparkles. So they are eye safe. I think. I, I, yeah, I think they're eye safe. But anyways, super freaking a bomb. Was very pleasantly surprised by this. The eyeshadow palette that I'm wearing now, I cannot believe I tried this palette the 1st of November. November felt like a million years long. Like the day that I reviewed this palette seemed so long ago just because I've been so busy creating so many other videos in between. But the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz palette, I'm surprised I didn't even add it into last month's favorites, but I guess I tried this in November. But anywho, oh my gosh, I love this palette so much. This is giving Mercury Retrograde a run for its money. I think. I think this is probably going to end up being my most used Huda palette in terms of the $65 palettes. So I think Mercury Retrograde is probably a little bit more fun, a little bit more unique, but in terms of like colors that I'm actually going to reach for on an everyday basis, this is my favorite palette from Huda. Today I did a pretty simple pinky eye because I have a business meeting today <laughs> and I don't want to scare the person I'm meeting off with, but you can do some quite dramatic looks if you want. But if you like the pinky mauvey tones, this is great. I mean, I have nothing bad to say about this. The formulations in here are phenomenal. The packaging is to die for. If you have like Mercury Retrograde and Nude Nude, do you need this palette? No. No, you don't. But I don't care. I love it. Here is the shock of the month for me. I cannot believe I'm putting a Melt palette in my monthly favorites. And one that was launched earlier this year and I forgot about. <laughs> so I had the Mel Cosmetics Brunette palette sitting in my palettes to try bin for the longest. And then one day I was filming a video just trying random new makeup that I had lying around. And I haven't been able to put this down since I wore this on Thanksgiving. I wore this to a birthday party. I wore this in a video. I keep reaching for this dang palette and it is so basic. <laughs> I mean, not even that cute of packaging. Oh my goodness, it's so boring, but I love it and the quality on this, particularly the mattes, phenomenal. Now the shimmers are really, really gorgeous, but you do gotta get a little bit of dr in there to get the shimmers and the textures on the lid. But once it's on there, stunning. So like this shade is really pretty, but you gotta dig in there. The rest of the shimmer shades are super creamy and pretty. It's a super basic palette, you don't need it. But I think if you get it, you'll like it. You know, I've done a lot of, not fun looks with this, but some really pretty looks with this. You know, on Thanksgiving, I did an all matte eye with this. For the birthday party I went to, we went with this shimmer on the lid. It was stunning. I don't know, this is just a great staple palette and I'm a neutral girl at heart. So I've been loving this and the quality, nice job Mel. Very good, applause to ya. Okay, the last palette that I have to talk about was also a surprise. I honestly wasn't very excited about this, but I guess I just, I can't shy away from a good neutral palette. So Natasha Denona came out with this glam face palette and it really quite shocked me. I mean, I, went away for one weekend this month and I brought this with me and it was perfect. So you do have a beautiful cream blush formulation and a beautiful highlight formula. The packaging of this Glam Face Palette is stunning. This is the light palette, by the way. My mom did order the dark palette for herself. I need to play with that because that one also looks gorgeous and I kind of want it. But oh my gosh, this palette 
exceeded my expectations, honestly. I mean, the quality of the eyeshadows are great. Again, they're basic colors, but this is just like a all you kind of need basic palette. I've thoroughly been enjoying this one as well. Great for travel, beautiful colors, just a look that you're always going to like. It might not be a special look, but you're always going to like it. So I had to put this one in this video. I kind of forgot about it a little for a little bit there. I know that's like weird to say, but... <laughs> I did, like this last week, I forgot that this came out this month, but yeah, love it. Next up, I have some lip liners from BK Beauty. I mean, just the whole lip collection, okay? I'm gonna mention the lip liners and the lipsticks because these are shocked me with this, okay? So the lip liners, right now I'm wearing the lightest pink shade, which is Sweet Pea, but they're very, very creamy, very easy to apply, really great basic pinky kind of colors. We have a a warm tone one, a deeper one, very nice. The shape of the lip liner itself I find to be quite unique, but I really do like it. I feel like you can use this top edge right here to really get a precise outline, and then you can use the flat angled side to fill in the lip. I mean, these feel so comfortable. I feel like they could be a lipstick, but I do like the lip liners a lot. Do they beat out my Charlotte Tilbury Pat McGrath? No, but they are solid, solid, solid lip liners, and they match perfectly with the BK lipsticks. Now, the lipsticks is a must-have in my opinion. These are, I like these better than the lip liners. The lip liners are great, but the lipsticks are what stands out to me as just a phenomenal formula. So they're these very tall, slim, magnetic compacts. Ugh, love a good magnet. And we have five shades, really pretty pinky based kind of shades. I'm wearing the shade Acceptance right now. Okay, I've said this in multiple videos at this point, but these make your lips look luscious and smooth. They have a very pretty shine to them and they're super duper comfortable. They're like hydrating. And they fill in the lines of your lips, which makes your lips look fuller and more plump. And they're just fantastic. I need more shades, Lisa. I need more. I need some beigey undertones. The only kind of thing I have to say, and this is the first launch, so it's fine, but all of the colors are very, very pinky based. So if you don't like pinky lip colors, then this launch isn't for you. So I really, really, and I don't see why she wouldn't, but I would really love to see the line expand with different undertones so that more of you could enjoy it. I mean, I love a good pinky lip, but beige and brown nudes are where my heart lies. So I am dying for this formula in those types of shades. But this is a gorgeous pinky lip, don't get me wrong, like I'm feeling it. Okay, we're down to the final two products. So the first product that I have is a skincare product. And I actually got this in an Ipsy bag. This is the Murad Acne Control Rapid Relief Acne Spot. So all of this month, I don't know what was happening, but right here you can still see the battle scars, but I was getting so many zits. It was like a zit farm down there. Um, and this really helped fight off these zits. You can see, well, at least we're for the most part all flat. Like most of the battle is over. I've been using the Clinique Acne Spot Clearing Gel for years. And I thought I'd try this. This has 2% salicylic acid acne treatment. And I feel like this is a nice change from the Clinique. And I could see when I would wake up in the morning because I put this on before I go to bed that it did dry out the acne. Acne. You know, it's not going to clear up the acne overnight, but it does speed up the process. I truly believe that this was drying out the acne. So this has really worked for me. I've really been enjoying this. So if you get acne a lot, maybe look into this. I really love like the spot salicylic acid treatments. I do feel like they work. So yeah, I've been enjoying this. Okay, finally, we have a perfume and oh, you guys, thank you. So for the Sephora sale, I got this Kaoli Rollerball Duo just to try out a couple fragrances. So one of the sides is Musk and the other side is Vanilla. And I actually was shopping with you guys on a live and you told me how beautiful the vanilla was. Thank you for convincing me to get this because the vanilla side of this, this is one of the best smelling vanilla perfumes that has ever graced the insides of my nose. Like and it sits on the skin even more beautifully. And I have to say, like I'm giving the vanilla all the attention. The musk is also quite nice. I'm wearing the musk right now. It's not typically a scent that I would like, but I, I really like it. It smells good. So now I like need to smell all of the Kaoli stuff because the vanilla is just so good. When I run out of this little roller ball, the biggest bottle that they have will enter my house because I can't even describe it. It's like, 
a really good, it's not a true vanilla scent. Like you can tell the biggest note here is going to be vanilla. It's not just vanilla, it's, it's special vanilla. I don't know, you need to smell it. It is, if you like vanilla scents, you will like this is what I'm trying to say. Anyways, there we have it. I mean, those were all of my favorites for the month of November. I am like hyped, pumped, so excited for Vlogmas. I'm terrified for when Jose's parents are here if I'm actually going to be able to post every day because, you know, you guys know I got a good work ethic, okay? I like to work. I put a lot of pressure on myself to upload a lot on YouTube. So the fact that it's December, I'm like, I have to. I'm up for the challenge. I'm already like pre-filming two to three videos today, so I'm so excited. Okay, anyways, <laughs> that's all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel to get daily content, okay? Lots of fun makeup talk. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.